Hello everyone and welcome to the FM Network. My name is Dan, also known as ReCFC, and I am here as a guest creator today to show you how to set up your own club using the FM21 editor. Remember, if you like what you see, please pop over to my channel um, and you can expect videos like this, a few tips, tactics, and also some Let's Plays, including my creator club adventures with ReCFC. Please also make sure to sub to the FM network as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is get your hands on the FM pre-game editor. And I'm using Steam, so to do that, if you are using Steam, head over there, click on library where you get your list of games. Now I've got an awful lot of options here and to get them, you have to click this drop down and make sure you've got tools highlighted. If I remove that, as you can see, you can my is just my list of games so make sure tools is highlighted scroll down to football manager and just underneath you should see the football manager 2021 editor install that and then hit the launch button to begin and this is where we work our magic to create our new club so first thing you will need to do once this is loaded you select the clubs option on the left hand side and make sure to hit add then you are presented with the club details and as you can see down the left hand side here there is a lot of things to go through. It is that deep you can you can really go dive in the ins and outs of the club. It is pretty incredible to be fair. So first thing uh, to notice you're given a, a unique ID so you can't change that. That is just so that it doesn't overwrite another club. Uh, the, the clue is in the name unique ID. So first of all you want to give your club a name. So we're going to go with Reese FC. So short name as well. So just call that Reese and a six letter name. I don't really know what the six letter name is all about, but we're going to go Reese FC. Oh, it's going to be Reese F because Reese FC is seven. Nickname as well. I mean, you can you can leave that blank if you want. I guess I think you can leave any of these blank. They're not mandatory. Nickname. We will just go with Reese's Pieces. Just like the chocolate. I mean, I, I don't even like Reese's Pieces, so I don't know why that sprung to mind. Maybe because our branding is orange, and so is Reese's Pieces packaging. Who knows? Um, hashtag wise, we will go with Reese FC. So that will just be on the social media feed. You know, when you see the fans tweeting about the game, um, it'll be hashtag Reese FC. Uh, nation, you want to select your nation. So we're going to put ourselves into the English Premier League. So we are going to select England here, the city as well. Uh, where where do we want to be? I, I'm guessing we want to be London, uh, just the capital city of England. So select London there. Foreground colour, so just the cut club colours basically. So we're going to go orange and we're going to go black for the background. Year founded as well, so I'm going to put us as 2020, so right at the start of the game. So 2020 and status as well you can select. So depending on where you want to put your club in the football pyramid, we're obviously in the Premier League, so we're going to keep it on professional. But if you want to be lower league sides, uh, non-league, national league or temp tier database, put yourself in there. You obviously want to go down to semi, semi-pro or amateur or anybody or any one of them options. Not set. I'm not really sure what that will do, if I'm honest with you. So I, I mean, for the purposes of this, we want to be professional anyway. So we will just leave that one, but not set. I don't really know what that does. Um, morale as well so down here on the bottom left you can see the value the example values it gives you or rather the range so zero being lowest 20 being highest zero i could imagine is about a, uh, would be a club that have suffered back-to-back -back relegations or are in financial trouble such as administration or anything like that 20 would be a club that are uh, winning multiple champions leagues um dominating domestically anything like that so probably like real madrid or barcelona anybody like that reputation as well so uh, the lowest value here is zero the highest is ten thousand. we're going to be a, a mid-table premier league club so i'm guessing we're going to put ourselves at around six thousand five hundred, which should be like three and a half stars i guess again give yourself the reputation that you would like there's so much flexibility about this but we're going to be a three and a half star club scouting package as well you can even select this so what you start uh, for your club scouting package available we're going to select continent all so then we can look around uh, the whole of europe looking at their under 18 sides 23s reserves senior sides and everything you can just select senior too but you can even if you're doing a lower league save league, you can even do just your own division it again you can make this club as big or as little as possible we're going to go continent all onto the ownership now so you have got um a number of options four options i believe for the chairman titles you can have you can call your chairman a chairman or you can call him president general manager or founder completely up to you we're going to keep the ownership options as they are ownership type there's again there's a lot of options here you got limited liability company public limited member owned and so on lots there you can even go if you enter the elections 
uh, member owned so you've got elections and you can select election dates you can even go into how long a chairman can the maximum length a chairman can be in charge of the club so you can select, select that for three years for instance the maximum number of terms that he can take over so uh, that he can be in charge so for instance if he was there for three years then he'd have to step down but then a year later he can be back re-elected again it, it just so many options if you want to go into that kind of depth you can also stop outside takeovers you can set up reserve teams as well for your club and as it's going to be a premier league side we're going to want to put an under 23 and an under 18 side in there so all you have to do is simply just under reserves teams up the top here is click the add button then you get an op uh, you get a list of all the teams you can create uh, two team three team amateur teams uh, under 18 b teams for instance uh, but we are just simply going to select an under 23 team um, select add again if you want to add another one and we will select an under 18 under 18 team as well and that is as simple as that next is time to choose your stadium now you can actually put a custom stadium in the game as well which is exactly what i've done here as you can see i've added the Reese arena you can of course select anything else you can select stanford bridge the emirates king power stadium whatever you want whatever you like but i've created a stadium for my club as well and to do that you just nip across to this database button here on the left hand side then you will click on stadiums and literally add your stadium here and you will go through just go through the options you'll have lots of different ones here in fact if we just select the Reese arena one you can see here so we've made the seat color orange for instance given a capacity of 45,000 so many things to, even to pitch length um all these different things build date there will change to 2020 brand new one you can even select i mean why is that not even there we go that, that's fixed there 31st january 20 20 was the build date you can have it even add pitch relay required dates it's pretty crazy i won't go too much into that but you just to show you you can create your own stadium as well if we head back here then so that is where we have selected the recf so you can also make your own training grounds as well i mean we'll just we'll, we'll just for the purpose of this and for, to speed things up we will just make the Reese arena also the training ground as well there we go uh, attendance you can have that up to a hundred thousand if you like so we will just do attendance of uh, forty-five thousand. minimum attendance thirty thousand. maximum 45 i mean up to you what you want to put here but obviously we're going to have the maximum we want minimum thirty thousand people at the club and whatnot training these are all your training ratings so as a mid as a premier league club i think um lowest is zero highest is 20 let's go fifth uh 15 youth coaching rating as well maybe we'll just we'll, we'll just go 15 again as well there i think facilities as well I think, i'd like to think we've got good facilities at this club so let's go for about 13 for that one pretty decent there recruitment as well we'll keep that in the middle of 10 youth importance now if you, it depends how important is it for youth um to be developed at the club so it is for us so we will go 15 and again corporate facilities i don't know mid-table Premier League club will go 15 you'd expect it to be pretty decent at this level another thing for you to look at is the finances at the club and again I've, put, I've just ran when he put some data in here just for the purposes of the video so I've given ourselves a 50 million pound balance in the bank transfer budget you can set I've set it to 20 million uh, you can even select if you want a sugar daddy working in the background and pumping money in, into the club all these different options here you can put transfer embargoes if you really want to you can add stadium rental match ticket prices set everything up season tickets special season ticket prices start and end dates for them as well there's so much involved in the finances as much as much as you want to put into it basically i mean i suppose you could leave it all blank if you really wanted to other income is there as well so for instance i've selected a kit sponsor which will be 150 worth 150,000 pounds per year to us you can put the start and the end date on there as well and it renews at the end of the of the term as well look all these options you can put a short sponsor in there as well equity injection so you can put that into i don't know parachute payments if you in the championship you're going to start there government and council grants there are a lot of options uh for other income as well and there's all these different ones here player buyback clauses monthly installments wage contributions there is a lot of options you can go through for the financial side of your football club club vision is up next so we all know what club vision is in football manager if you've got an idea in your head what direction your club you want them to go in this is the perfect place to set all that up so i've added a couple of options in there i want us to play direct football for instance and the importance of that ranges between i think it's minus 10 to 10 um so highly important that we play direct football there 
and we want to develop the best youth system in the world for instance so we've set that to 10 that's really important you can set the start and end year so you can give yourself five years for instance to do that and you can add make it an ongoing club vision and whatnot as well so there, again it's very flex it's very flexible you can add as many as you like you can really make it hard uh, for you to give yourself the right task to match all these club visions there's lots in here don't sign players over the age of 23 for example if you wanted to do that uh, sign players only english players there's so many different options in there for you let's let's just do that as well sign players what was that based in nation uh, sorry sign players of nationality and can you actually check this as well so we want to uh, we'll make this important again make it a five and then you just choose your nation here of england so we only want players who are english uh, for instance you can put anything you want in there basically uh, tactical attributes as well is another thing to look at i mean I i've just put random ones in there they are preset there's a huge list of all the tactics you know preferred formation second preferred formation defensive attacking um and you're probably going to change that anyway in game so i wouldn't worry too much about that i've just selected a random few supporter profile is up next so this again this range i think this is range from 0 to 20 and it does so the supporters loyalty 10 passion 10 it's all in the middle here and i mean if you put expectations too high, you might shoot yourself in the foot, I guess, because if they're really expectant on success and you, you just fall short of that, maybe they'll be calling for your head. So I'll just go there and just kind of not make it too high to make the task more difficult for you to manage the club. So maybe loyalty 15, you want uh, loyal fans so they don't disappear when things are going bad. Passionate fans, maybe 14. Uh, patience, so it'd be nice to put that to 20 because then they'll give you a lot of time. But be realistic, maybe 14 on that. Um, yeah temperament expectations uh, yeah just, we'll just put some random values in there again have a good think about uh, that that could really affect your save in terms of will the fans stay on your side if things do start to go bad which can happen in football manager we've all been stuck in a little bit of a slump before in football manager haven't we contract types is another thing to look at as well to hold you it really goes into detail doesn't it so we want these to be full timers don't we star players uh, regular starters we all want these to be full timers we want this entire club to be full-timers basically because we're going to be a premier league club but again change it if you do want to if you're going to be a lower league club of course you want to make it part-time and things like that uh, to suit it basically again suit your club uh, wherever you are putting them in the football pyramid but we will put all these on full-time as we are a professional club after setting up all the contract types you can then go deep uh, dive deeper into the game as well and set up your kits and colors for your club now you can get add in your own logos and kits there are plenty of people out there that can design them for you or you design them themselves. We won't go into that today just because then it will be an ultra long video. So what we'll do, we'll just I'll just show you here is the kit editor right here. You can just do it in game as well. So you can select your shirts, uh, your icon text, your shorts, your socks. You can change the colors and the style of the kits as well. Um, so if you did this kit style, for instance, you can have stripey uh checkered or all that all, all sorts of designs there for you you can change the colors as well so if we just go foreground orange background black for instance because these are colors that we've used you can have the number change the number colors as well a lot of things that you can go through in fact you want the black background as orange there outline as well as black there we go lots of options i'm not going to go through all this again but you'll be here all day watching me just change colors basically but it's all flexible it's all easy to do and by all means play about with this you also have the ability to add staff and players to your side so if you don't want to start the game up and with a complete blank canvas you can add them here so if you wanted i don't know if we go to players for instance you wanted to add a new player to your club um for the first one that springs to mind is jamie vardy because he is the best striker in the world isn't he um <laughs> i would say that being a leicester city fan so we want we want jamie vardy at the club there we go so jamie vardy is gonna be at the club you can populate that you can do it you can then if you really wanted to send him out on loan for instance at the start of the game there's lots of things you can do set your captains uh players your testimonials as well it's madness you can put board members in there coaching staff players you name it um but for the purpose of this we're just going to add jamie vardy just he's going to be the only player even the, the only person at the club you can also set up the relationships at the club for for instance a rival club we're, we're a london club so we'll add in chelsea for example as a rival again the level is from zero to 100 so i guess for 100 would be fierce rivals if we added let's say arsenal in there and then added them as a 50 that would mean they're just a local rival 
So there's a lot of, again, you can add them, you can add new clubs, favourite people as well. So Jamie Vardy is the only guy at the club. So he'll be a, a player who is well favoured by the, by the fans because he's the only one there. So zero to a hundred again, hundred being very a, a very favoured person, for instance. You can even look. You can even have the option to the can name stadium after person. So will the Reese Arena become the Jamie Vardy Arena, for instance? Disliked in there as well. Legends, icons, you name it. You, you know, in the club info section, you can add whoever you want in there. You can set the affiliated clubs as well if you really wanted to. I'm not going to do that now. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I say if you wanted, if you was coming into the cha- uh, into the into the Vanarama National League, you can then set up an affiliate instantly in the game with Arsenal, for instance, if you really wanted to. So then they would send players out on loan to you to develop. So you can set all that up as well. A lot of things to do here. You can go further into that as well and set up your club record as well. But as we're setting this club up from scratch from 2020, we're not going to have any records. The record book is a canvas. It's blank. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could add stuff like your biggest win ever, like 11-0 against Portsmouth or something, if you really wanted to. But we all leave this blank. Uh, team league history as well. You can put all that cup history. So FA Cup winners in 1956, for example, you could add that if you wanted to. But as I said, we're going to leave it blank for the purpose of this video. And just like for the club details, right at the start of this video, uh, you can do all the same things again for the under-23s and the under-18 side. So you can change your name from Reese FC under-23s to uh, Reese's Pieces under-23s if you really wanted to. You can change their reputation as well, their last position in the league, the divisions they're in as well. You can change that. Um, and yeah, again, you can put, you can give them another stadium if you want as well. So we will give them, we'll let them have the Reese Arena. I think that's only fair. Currently, they won't have a league though to play in, so it will just be friendlies for them. You can have minimum, maximum attendance. It's all the same stuff again as it was previous, pretty much. And I mean, I don't know why this has scrolled right up, but you can change the kits as well. So currently, they play in blue. I'm not going to go through all that again. Uh, they can just play in blue and you can do the same once again for the under 18s as well so now the club is created the next step is to put the club into the competition of your choice now for this video we have been saying we're going to put our club recfc into the premier league so what we do now on the left hand side we go over to database we then select competitions up here you then type in and search for the league of your choice we've chose premier league make sure you click on the correct premier league because there are a lot of instances of it so nation england there we go uh, head across the teams as well you'll come to the details page but um, make sure you select teams and here are the list of all the premier league clubs so now what we do you, there is a way that you can add a team to make it a 21 com uh, team competition However, in this instance, we are that will take a bit more tweaking. So in this instance, we're just going to swap out a team from the current Premier League. And that team is going to be Burnley. So all you do is click on Burnley. Then you click click on Swap. Then we search for our team. So Reese FC. And it comes up there. Lovely. Make sure you select the first team. Otherwise, you'll be putting the under-18s or the under-23s in there. Click OK. And that is literally all we do. So now Reese FC is a Premier League side. And then after all that, you just go in, save edit data as, and then of course I've already done this. So I've called it create a club tutorial database and you click save and then that will be available when you start your new career mode. So we're now into football manager and we would just set up a game like we normally would. So you hit the career mode up on the right hand side, top right hand side, you'll have database. Make sure the database that you've just been working on is selected. So for instance, create a club tutorial database, we've selected that hit the advanced setup button it will then just take you through the steps uh, like normal so we'll just get rid of all the other nations for now just for the purposes of this premier league only because that is where our team is and then you'll hit the start game button you'll go through and set up your profile as normal but now as you can see Reese fc is here well Reese is the short name is here and we have replaced burnley there's no more there's no burnley in the league now and that is exactly how you set up your side. So look, we're rich. We got the Reese's Pieces as the nickname. Uh, we have the Reese Arena in there as well. 45,000 seats. Uh, well, not seats stadium. It's 45,000 capacity, but apparently I only put 4,500 seated. So the rest is standing. That is how you set up the side. We've got no history as well. We're a brand new squad. If we look at View Squad, we've only got Jamie Vardy in there. And these guys, who knows who these are? But Vardy is the only player at Reese FC. So that is all set up now. That that is how to create your own club. If we go across here, as you can see, Vardy's in there. Club vision wise, it will say everything we put in there. Play direct football, we put in there. 
sign English players only, develop players, clubs, youth system. I don't think we put that in there. Maybe we did. But yeah, everything is in there, which we've put in to the editor, edit the £20 million budget, as you can see there. We've got an under-23s and under-18 side, uh, £51 million in the bank balance, apparently, so maybe something changed there. Sponsors as well is what we put in the main kit. So so it is all there, and essentially we have just created our own club. Now, go over there. There's plenty of videos out there to put your own logo in and your own kits. You just literally just match up the IDs. Uh, the, the club ID, the unique ID, which we saw in the club details section, but there's plenty of videos out there to show you that. If I had to put that in here, we would have had an ultra long video today. It's been long enough as it is anyways. And guys, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you do have any comments about anything in the video, please pop them down below in the comment section. Either myself or the network will get back to you. And once again, I would like to thank the FM network for having me here as a guest on their channel. Please remember to subscribe to them. And if you like the video that I put together today for you, please head over to my channel as well. But thank you for watching, guys, and take care. Bye-bye.